Hello everyone, Tammy Coker here, and today I'm going to show you how I make my Instagram panoramic images. Uh, pretty much what I do is I have four different squares that fit the Instagram size, um, and I turn them into almost like a lookbook, a virtual lookbook. And I've been doing it for a while now, and I just wanted to show you guys a tutorial on how I make it. All right, let's get started. All right, so first you're going to open up Photoshop and you're going to make a new um, document. Now, the Instagram size I'm going to use is 1080 pixels by 1080, but since we want four different boxes, I'm going to multiply 1080 by four and you get 4,320. Make sure it's in pixels, make sure the resolution is at 300 and I have my background on white. Now, what I'm going to do here is that I first need to put my guide. So I'm going to go and have my guides here and I'm going to pick an uh, four and I'm going to make sure it's on the columns and now what it does is that the guides are now made for my Instagram and so now I have four boxes that fit Instagram size exactly all right so um, after this you press OK and now we're going to have to slice it and what slicing does is that it separates each of these boxes. So when you export them, they're actually four different boxes rather than one whole image, right? So if we zoom in here, you can see the numbers, one, two, three, four. That's exactly how we should be, all right? So now I'm gonna bring the images in. This is probably my favorite part. Um, the image I'm bringing in right now is actually a video but um, as I go through this, you're going to see that I take that video out because I want to use that video by itself because it wasn't fitting the whole thing. Um, so I go in here and now I'm going to look through and pick the video. All right, I'm going to click and drag it in. And if you look at my right hand side at the bottom, it has my layers and it is right there. So I make sure that it fits the square um, as perfectly as it can. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally start bringing other images in um, and resizing them to make sure that they fit um, the layouts the way I want it to look. All right, so now I'm gonna look for a brush. Um, I just felt like adding something else to this to make it look a little bit better because to me it was starting to look a little too plain. So I found this brush on online um, and I actually had it stored in my Photoshop for a while. And so I just decided to bring it out today and use it. And as you can see, I'm just randomly going to different sections of the, um, of the document and just coloring really um, I'm using my Wacom tablet so that's why I'm able to tilt my stuff the way I am on here and yeah so I just keep going until I'm satisfied and right here what I did was I, I made a new layer so I could put that paint right behind that picture so that was uh, kind of just something random I wanted to explore all right so now I'm finally picking up a different type of brush and here I'm just trying to figure out what I could do to make that image of him just more interesting.
All right, so at this point, I am trying to write OPEG Brothers somewhere in the image because I just wanted um, to test out my Wacom tablet, honestly, because if I typed it out, it didn't really look that good. And so I wanted to use my Wacom tablet and use my handwriting and just try to make it look neat. All right, so here I'm gonna show you guys how to export. You wanna go into File, click on Export, and click on Save for Web Legacy. Once that pops up, you want to go and make sure that uh, the preset is on JPEG High, and make sure it has, it's optimized, and make sure the quality is like 60. And then once you're done, just press Save. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna save all of these images into four separate images. Now I might save some of them as GIFs, but what I really do is I just go into the document, click on the name, and I change it to .jpg. And that does not seem to distort the file or anything. Um, so that would be my suggestion. If your thing comes out as .gif and some of them are .jpg, you can always change it to .jpg. Unless it is really a gift, but in this case, all of these are just images. So that's pretty much how it's done, guys. 